Guys, thanks for joining in here and checking up on what is happening in the markets. Today we're going to really just speak about the implications that are happening with regards to the US 30. I really, really think this is a very important one. Guys, we've had a massive sell-off here and this is all due to the Fed news coming out tomorrow. Okay, how do I know that? It's just because of this. If I quickly just show you guys on the other side here. Let's quickly get into this. Oops, you guys, as you can see, we've had jolts come out today. And this is what I wanted to speak to you guys about quickly. And this has also caused the to court NASDAQ to plummet. So, guys, something I don't really know. These numbers are very important for businesses. Okay. Businesses equal US 30. Okay. And therefore, if there is not that many job openings okay then what happens is it looks quite suspicious that there isn't such great um you know expansion because there's not many more uh, positions that they need to fill in order to expand the business so this is just a concern from most of the investors and at the same time we have the fed news coming out tomorrow which is, should be i think pmi maybe let's go and double check before i just assume so uh let me go and check here for you guys refresh this let's go check tomorrow okay what is it well yes i was correct pmi news guys boom we've also got the fmoc we have fed rates we have everything happening tomorrow guys if you want to see all of this happening uh you can definitely jump onto your charts in south africa it would be around three i would say two o'clock let me go and double check for you guys here we go there we go where is this this is actually today sorry there we go may the third we're looking for guys yes okay and then let me just refresh this quickly oh, it's just going backwards anyway it doesn't matter let's just take it as it is from this perspective guys so we have there we go it's actually just done its um update so yeah guys this is for south african time okay it's a time zone uh if you want it just refresh your screen if you're reading from a different country uh, then you will just literally refresh your screen it will obviously sync to your time zone so i just wanted to show you guys what i think could happen if these numbers come out hotter than expected guys so this one especially because guys when we're talking about the reserves we are talking about interest rates okay now if the interest rates are increasing then therefore the stocks are going to have a tumble okay this has been happening every single time this has gone through and if we get better than expected, so if we get this to go to six for argument's sake, whoo, we can see a massive melt on the NAS and the US 30. Okay, and then any of your USD currency pairs are going to fly. They are really going to push, guys, which is great to know because we have been seeing some strength on the USD CAD and some unbelievable push on the USD JPY. Okay, but main thing is, guys, I want to speak about the US 30 because this one I think is an absolute killer. From what we've just seen recently, that the market has gone bonkers. Let's go and check this out quickly. And I want to show you guys how you should be looking at this just from my perspective. Okay, guys, remember, I want you guys to all take this as a grain of salt. Um, this is just something I've been doing for a couple of years and it really has worked in my favor. Okay, so we've already had a really good beautiful execution here okay where the market has decided to really just push through this area it's so beautiful that it just broke like that okay so we've had our trend line basically break now put that over there cool and we want to see some sort of like action guys happening inside the zone here we have got that little box i've got these other areas just to remind myself to watch for rejection and it's very simple when you think about it from that area you can easily just um look at these areas on the side here so this is the reason i wanted to take my other buy because there was a really good structure over here and i already thought it would have bounced okay but i rushed into my trade today it wasn't a smart idea but it happens guys so what i did was i took my foot from here for this impulsive move back down to the next possible structure for it to move up that failed then what do you do you need to just take your fib again guys you take the fib again from the lowest area because there's we don't know really where the market is going to go so now as you can see guys i've highlighted this area for a really 
good reason. It was the Fib zone on this area, but I lost money today. So in my trading strategy, I promised myself I'm not allowed to constantly trade if I've lost. So if I had kept on trading, I would have lost from here all the way down to here, guys. That is terrible. Okay, so because I had my stop losses in, it saved me, market moved down, it took me out. And now I can just look at the market in different perspective. So what I am seeing, guys, is that's a nice rejection from here. Okay, so the possibility that we could see a rally back up is it's there. We just now need to see the price action. So what I would like you guys to try and look for in time to come is a push down to about here. Okay, let the market bounce. Even if it comes up higher and it comes back into this area, then we can buy it. That's one option. The next one I want to see, which is normally a great one, is it for to liquidate what has happened previously and then for a movement like this to happen, guys. So we have that up and down M pattern I love to talk about. When we get that, I'll get in for, for certain. Stop loss is just underneath here. Okay, we've got to get used to seeing patterns inside of a big zone that has potential for movement because when there is money being put into these areas, then the nice thing is this thing will normally move up to just about here. But what I will do is I'll ride to take profit number one, okay? And then if I got to a higher time frame, I would literally ride it to the zero and hold two, two trades to go higher. So my trade would actually be taking first take profit up here, okay? And I'll hold the rest. But that is also dangerous. But I like to, if I trade, guys, I don't really want to be in here out there then it comes down then it's out there again and then it comes up and down and it's out and then it's out and it's out and it's out if you just put your stop loss underneath then you let all this happen that's still shot off all the way to the top it's way better for your you and your mind remember we are not trying to force ourselves into trading we have to capitalize on the opportunity that is there and i want you guys to remember i'm going to do that one more time we are just looking for a possibility of a double bottom here. Then it can break the top. The next entry is like that. Then we're going off. That's one opportunity. The next one is up, down, down. There, break, pull back, two legs. Okay, that's one leg there. That's the second leg there. And then we're going to shoot off. Okay, TP up here. If you would rather scalp this, then you want to take your profits over there, guys. I'm not afraid to lose and let it come down and knock me out if I'm wrong. Because I've already done it over here. So if I just make this trade up to here, I would have 3x my money and then I would be back at break even to take a trade out back up here, which would be now 4x and then always the top would be a 5x. So I will basically all in all literally be making like 4, 5, 9. So that would be a 12 times my risk, which technically would be about 1,200. Okay, as a profit. So I'm, it's worth me taking my trades whenever I see my patterns or if it's in my area. And guys, looking for two things, it's those patterns. And then we also want to make sure that we look at the news tomorrow, guys. This is the one that I want you guys to focus on the most, okay? 8 p.m., this is all going to come out. So I don't even know if you really want to trade tomorrow. I think just relax, watch some TV even, and wait for these numbers to come out. And then on Wednesday, we trade it, okay? That's what I think. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful day and I hope you keep on.